of fight. We have you against one of me. Sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. In part, as Hamid was sad, we give him the study. We'll just continue this part from right here, real quick. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. And let's see if it bugs out this time again or not. Nope. Okay, they just forgot to disable the ability of us going through here with that teacher. I've seen this before in Gringotts and the restricted section. Rebellion. Nice. I must have done something. Best have a look around. Oh, man. does that mean undefined I don't get it why is it undefined okay no more no more gears Nice. No. Oh. Oh, that's a nice one. Really nice. Traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Oh, we don't have to fight these. Right then. It's great fun. Hmm. These are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. We don't have anything else to throw.
that's it. Come on, broskies. Can't be that easy. What have the keepers planned for me? <laughs> Can we upgrade this thing for real? Any but any chance? You really need to do something about it. Complete Merlin trial challenges. So, okay. Rebellion. Oh, so I was right. Me. I hope you guys don't mind. But oh, we can't go back. Okay. Just wanted to go back and destroy all of them, but we weren't able to actually go back. So these look familiar. Akia. How do they look familiar? This is the first time we came here. Rebellion. Oh, you just What is it trying to say? I should tell us that. You should continue from the. Behind this so called ch channeled way. Nice goggles. No, still no for me. Thank it times two. The room changes when I move in and out of the archway. Oh, you didn't know that, bro? Akio. More 
statues. Where'd you go, bro? Not making this easy on me. Just like this train does. All right. Okay, let's see if there's Rebellion. anything here. Nothing. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. The room hasn't changed. I'm just thinking maybe if we is on the red side it might be a change but I don't know. I don't think so now. Okay. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Probably this. Something must be different. Oh yeah. Oh no. There we go. I need to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. Akio. So well. I know, but I'm just going to try to get that one too. I need to move that platform over there. Okay, now I can access it. Akio, so that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Oh God. I'm not sure if I should destroy them. Un undead I uh un undead oh my god identified un unidentified what the hell is wrong with me Okay I know Let's take heat somewhere around here So that's it I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge then we go here. Yeah, we should be good to go. There we go. 
I'll never get used to these floors. I really like them. Oh, fight. We have you against one of me. Oh, my tiny friend. It's about to get real. Yeah, I feel like it's about to get. Spend a few minutes at this. Just open it up from here. No. Now to see what's changed on each side of this archway. Akio. To get out of the archway. And I was full on either side of the archway. But how? Akio. Let's get the gear. Oh my god. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to do with this one? Can't bring it down. What if I stood on one platform and used Akio on the other? That ought to work. Oh, 
I would you need that though? Wait, what? Can we jump on it? Yeah. Um. What if I stood on one platform and used Athia on the other? No, no. That ought to work. What if I stood on one platform and the other? That ought to work. Oh shit. <laughs> it is kinda confusing. It's not supposed to be confusing, but it's getting confusing. So you're supposed to... Can't be that hard for us to be forced to move all the two platforms together from the mirror side. It was just poorly executed at the start. Oh, so it's a great boss fight, I suppose. Hence the potions. So look at this. No, not him. Thank you. Kill the tiny ones in order to finish the bigger one. I don't see that coming. I'm trying to save it for the next ones if there's any. That's what I'm talking about. Holy shoot. Dude, that barely dealt a damage to him. Send 
Aren't you friendly or could wreck him or something? What a relief. Sad. We came from there. And sometimes, you know, platforms would just show up when you notice these. I guess this isn't the case. I like these platforms, honestly. Another pensive. take this chest before we continue maybe we get into a cutscene and lose what we have here oh god why are they all unidentified I feel like she's gonna to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. Turn evil at some point. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. I can your brother? The it is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even well, the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of there. Right good. Nice statue.
Oh, nothing behind it, apparently. Stone. That must be the way back. That's it. Obviously. Was it? What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fick. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Brookwood. That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its... For now, tell me what you saw... Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what... I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. I... Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. My studies. Uh, before you go... Sure. Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient... If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look... <clears throat> What do you mean now? Nice. Could have been better, but okay. Mm, There's a keeper. Okay, before anything, I just need to sell my gear first. I'm really annoyed with these. Look at that. Oh, man. Potions, Olivander. Okay, we could get a broom over there. That'd be nice. I should ask Serona at the about a pressing and highly confidential Revelio. Convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. 
Hogsmeade, here I come. Class, once you have completed the tasks I've set for you, I would like to teach you descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Honestly, right now I just need some. Way too. Unlock these locks. What the lag? Ah, new rebellion. Wonderful. Hello. Shop's been closed. Win with. Sounds cool. Do you buy a What are we gear? looking for today? Nice. nice doing business with you. You too, pal. It's sad that we don't even see what they are. Item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. This one You'll be promising. thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly you seem to be a fly who might go on. <laughs> but you may notice. I could. That sounds in. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. <sighs> I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Where does this take us? Uh, back to Hogwarts, of course. Learn the pulsa from Professor Sharp. Let's see the wands. Can't do anything with it. Okay. Mm, we don't need to hear. East. No. I could use potions. No, no, I don't need potions. Never mind. Should be the last one. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Oh, it's gross for... okay. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? What do we... this... Potion. For spellcraft. 
we have anything to grow stuff on to let plus spellcraft. medium pots use it to put plant oh this one has three medium this one has two large this one's fun but not right now honestly let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Oh, uh, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Beast class. Good. No, I still go with the beast class. Maybe we'll be able to, you know, get our mount. Finally. We really need that right now. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous. Especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about uh -huh. Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Ah! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's Aww. lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. <laughs> good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Okay. Oh, a couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thing. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Tus tus peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> <laughs> That's really not funny. Look at the one on the bank. <sighs> Let's go.
Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I Wait. would like a moment, please. Do you want my job done? Okay. Well, let me just feed them all. Good now. What about them? Okay, okay, okay. Everything's fine and set. Go on. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe really? I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Indeed. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let... Yes, Professor. ...that stumbling over dead beasts. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm, an optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Be on the lookout for my... Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many... Sure. Psst, psst, over here. What? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I did. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. Aww. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone, at least that's what we decided it meant. I... We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Hmm. You've intrigued me. I'd hoped I would. Oh. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I think. As I said, I we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? <laughs> it really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's okay. just ahead. Stand back. There it is. Iconic Please animal. Meet High Ring. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. 
You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like I come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody they all eat the same huh good stuff Sure, certainly. So, what did you think of High Wing? Happy to see us. I thought she was brilliant. Why was I can't she? Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected it, you two might get along. Nervous. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely... I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear the poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village. They're up to something. That I oh. you know what you've done to my beautiful. Set up. Okay, what else do we have? <laughs> Sounds like a main one, that's why I'm actually oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Me too. Who's that? Okay, four and two would be six. The hell? Okay. Who's with zero and Rebellion. the other one? Down there. One, five, six. Um, five zero one two three four five okay I've always said that travel broadens the mind there we go Here we go. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. 
I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! And uh, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Sure, sure. Ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Mm -hmm. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes mm -hmm. the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form Rebellion. of a demigod. A demigod? <gasps> yes. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a bogger to learn my greatest fear and use it. Again. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. What does have Second, anything to do macabre and idiots with sort of demiguys removing some sphere. Most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing Yeah, for real. Why would I do this? Seems all risk and... Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particular... Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm, you'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? You? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Easy. Hello, Hamora. What are we supposed to do using rotate dots until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock?
Okay, this one's understandable, but what about this one? Alohomora. Marking system. Well done! You're in! Rebellion. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. Alohomora. There we go. I like the lock freaking system. Might be a little bit confusing at the start, but at the end of the day, overall we like it comparing to other games. Oh, we are totally messed up. How are your students getting along this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? We're raising a generation of... Okay, we shall finish this episode right here, because I, as you may, notice, you may have noticed, I'm really sleepy at the moment so I'm just this gonna... must be the prefect's bathroom so I'm just gonna finish this episode right here until uh, the next word thanks for watching you know what to do don't leave uh, don't forget to leave a like and uh, leave a comment down below And you know what to do, leave your comments down below and like the video if that would be possible and subscribe to the channel. That's pretty much it. So let's just finish this episode here and we shall then continue from right here. Um, I'm not going to enjoy the bomb, but you can run to do such a wish. I'm just going to enjoy the car. من سعی میکنم زیاد صحبت نکنم تو واقع خوالو هم همونطور که خود تو متوجهید و حرف زیادی ندارم برای گفتن لایک کامنت سابسکرپ یاد نره اگر منو بتونید به دوستات معرفی کنید من واقع ممنون میشم تا پارت بعدی به درود دوستان بازه